All right. So you, you oh, yeah. definitely, you went into shock. Of course. Yeah. You told mm-hmm. me that you had this um, debilitating anxiety that just overtook you and that something would happen to you where you would lose time. And I'm saying in, mm-hmm. uh, that in quotes, but I'm not sure mm-hmm. if anybody listening out there, if you've heard of this before, um, can you please tell us, because I have heard of this just from talking to other widows when mm-hmm. you suffer trauma and, and these traumatic things happen, it's tell us what that felt like for you. And what happens when a person loses time? What? Well, yeah, being a police officer for 30 years, of course, uh, not knowing, well, knowing being the mental health coordinator that I probably had some form of PTSD. This, of course, triggered it. Um, this was my trigger for the PTSD. And if people don't understand PTSD, it, it, it's cumulative, but it's also, it could be one traumatic event. Mine was com- cumulative. And then, I, you know, we just compartmentalize and shut it down. Yeah. Well, one tragic event can explode that box that you stuff everything in. Um, that's what happened here. I was I was terrified of leaving my house. I wouldn't leave my house alone. Um, but I lost, like I said, lost track of time. I'd be standing. And part of my, I, I, I there was a pattern. When I started doing it, I'd, I'd be on my phone or I'd be doing something. And I would just stop. And I'd usually be standing up somewhere in the kitchen or somewhere else. And it'd be three o'clock. And then next thing I know, it's nine o'clock at night. And I don't know what happened between there. I don't, you know, I'm pretty much in the same spot I was in at three o'clock. So I don't know if I've moved around. I don't know if I've done anything. It's just three o'clock, nine o'clock, boom, that time is gone. I know uh, there was, there was times, one time, um, I didn't know what time it was. I got in my car and I started driving. I had no idea where I was going. Um, At the time, I didn't realize where I was. Next thing I know, I have a flat tire oh. and I realize I'm in a really bad neighborhood I shouldn't be in. So I drive home on a flat tire and I'm thinking Sam, someone sabotaged my tire, you know, oh. and a friend looked at it and he said, no, it looks like you hit a curb, but I don't even oh realize hitting God. the curb. Oh, wow. Uh, so, yeah, I did have a girlfriend warn me because she lost her husband suddenly, not, not tragically, it was tragic, but sudden just to a medical illness, but. Um, she said, Ann, you, you'll get lost. You, you'll be driving and all of a sudden you won't realize where you are, or where you're going. Yeah. Um, and I had that many times as well. But the loss of time really bothered me because being a policeman and, and we're type A personalities, we're always in control to, yes. to one minute be three, the next minute to be nine o'clock and just not realize what's going on. Luckily, most of the time it happened, it happened at home. So I, I was in a safe environment. But the thought then that that increased my fear of even leaving the house because what if it happened while I'm out? Yes, yes. And then you're making choices just to keep yourself isolated, just to keep yes. yourself safe. Yeah. Oh and God. Uh, yeah, so I I wasn't traveling anywhere, going anywhere unless I had someone with me, um, family, friends. Uh, they were my I, I called them my service people because I didn't have a service dog at the time. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so they were my, I called them my service people and, and they knew it yeah. that, you know, they knew that you're with me to keep me not just, and not just safe, you know, but they were aware of my surroundings. Cause that's, I, that was one thing I wasn't capable of doing, you know, as I was as a police officer, um, always aware of my surroundings after that. I wasn't, I was just, I was in a little bubble and that's where I stayed. And, um, yeah, you know, I know, I know it, that feeling of mm-hmm. trying to be in this bubble and, keep yourself comforted in some kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. So keep it above water too. Yeah. 